Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a daily reading for the collective, um, for whoever, whenever, wherever. Today I am using the Mythical Goddess Tarot. Um, going to get some clarifiers with the Patch Tarot. Um, pull a couple of the Normand uh, and maybe get a cosmic creature. And you know, this seems like a lot of things, but um, I wanted to open the uh, in in lieu of. Aries season, right, and um, becoming our warrior selves and, you know, all of that 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 entails. Um, I was called to the Book of the Five Rings, which is the word of uh, uh, the sword master's ancient wisdom for winning, uh, Miyamoto Musashi. And so that's, um, there's a lot of lessons in there, so I'd like to open that up for us and find some... Um, Maybe some warrior insights for us, right? Spiritual warriors that we are. So let's get a mythical goddess, uh, a spread from the mythical goddess here. And I want to do um, In the Faith of the Seven, which comes from the Game of Thrones tarot. So the first card is uh, the father, that's your justice and decisions. Um, the second is the smith, your work and skills. Third is the warrior, your strength and battles. Um, four is the mother, love and relationships and creativity. Five is the maiden, your values and virtues. The, uh, six is the crone, hopes, fears, um, and inner guidance. And seven is the stranger, the unknown. All right, so this might be a little bit of a longer reading today, but I really felt like called to do it. And this Game of Thrones guidebook like, literally fell in my lap. Oh, here we go. We're going to start with, oh yes, nice. Three of C's, compassion. That's the three of cups. Um, that's reunion. That's friendship. And interesting too that we're reading the Game of Thrones and we get um, the three of cups, the dragons, right? So this is justice and decision to situations, what can be resolved and brought to order, right? And that's um, celebration. That's reconnecting with uh, people and things that are good for us. Hold on for one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so that's our decisions, right? What needs to be brought to order? What can be resolved? And um, that uh, speaks a lot about our relationships with others. Um, with ourselves and um, it's interesting you know the dragon within mm, this is the situation it feels like there's a lot of people coming together right now um, and there's like forgiveness in this there's celebration in this it feels really great what is the uh, smith can you tell us goddesses can you talk to us about our work and skills balance yeah wind this is the the two of swords um, night and day, right? <sighs> Moon and Libra. So we need to be able, this is saying that, um, we need to be able to balance our, our work, uh, life and our, in our home life, our, um, responsibilities and our, uh, freedoms, our, our, our fun, right? Um, and the things that we know to be true, and the things that are yet unseen, right? Because both are valid. So if you're working on something and um, you're keeping it to yourself or you have like unknowns about it, um, don't worry, you know, just keep working at it. Maintain that balance is what this is uh, recommending. And for warrior and strength, the card just fell out and that's amazing. It's uh, the page of fire, the creative spark, right? So that is uh, our strength in battle. What or whom opposes you? Are you strong and can you succeed? You know, um, is your passion, are your passions running away with you? Or are you using them? See how she's cradling them, right? We need to nurture them. And the page is learning. The page is impulsive. The page of fire is impulsive. Um, so that might, what are, our, what are our strengths? Well, our creativity, our ability to overcome, our ability to think of new and different solutions, right? And um, the, there's a risk-taking factor, right? So we have weighing out our options, not being able to see everything clearly, um, and needing to move forward through it anyway. So um, maybe our friends are here to help us, you know, that is being seen. Um, so the mother, you know, like, and it's, can you succeed? Well, the page of fire, the child of fire, their success is dependent on um, how much they've worked thus far. So, and, and, and how, um, where they direct their fire, right? Where are we directing our strength? 
Where are we directing our creativity? What are we allowing? Are we allowing, ins this feels like, are we allowing inspiration or are we allowing aggravation? And can we transmute, if there is aggravation, can we transmute it into um, an, it, something inspiring? That's what the Page of Wands loves to do. It's very artistic. Can we have for the mother love relationships? Um, and here's that creativity again. You know, what um, are the positives and what can you focus on and nurture? The crone resurrection, crone of seas. This is the, this is the uh, king of swords. Remember he came out yesterday too. This is being logical, right? And um, there's that octopi and there's that little octopus and all of its tentacles. Um, they're one of the most intelligent creatures on the planet. They really are. They know. They know. They can solve problems. They can open things. They can get out of situations. Um, and uh, the, the crone has been through a lifetime's worth of lessons. Right? And she knows what is necessary and what isn't. And so being very judicial about making these decisions and taking these actions and what to do to relieve ourselves from spaces. And that's the positive in this, that we have those strengths. We have all of those lessons and we have that, uh, it's like cleverness. You know, very, 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 very clever. So um, in your relationships, there's, there's, those are places that you're valued. You know, people need that from you, the people around you. These people, they need that from you when there's indecision, when we can't see everywhere that we're going and we're um, inspired to move forward when we're feeling that drive to move forward. We need to nurture the logic. We need to nurture the rationale. We need to l l nurture um, the lessons that we've um that we've learned and the skills that we've obtained, you know, to get to that point and look at it like a scientist, take it apart methodically. Right. Okay, um maiden, your values, your virtues, what values do you need to protect and what's your true what's your true motivation? <sighs> Six of Cups, pleasure. Yeah. Enjoying the relationships that you're in. Enjoying the people around you. That childlike wonder, that childlike essence, oh, it, look at that giant heart in the center of her chest, just heart chakra, wide open, receiving, right? And she's a mermaid, so she does well in the water and out in the air. She's, she's able to enjoy the sunshine, right? That's your motivation. Those are your virtues, the, the, the fact that you're good-hearted, the fact that you value um, joy, that you value sentiment, that you value the people around you and that your relationships with others. And again, with this past, there's the, the Six of Cups is like a um, nostalgic card, right? It could talk about soulmates. It could talk about past lives. It could talk about people that we've known from childhood. It could talk about all of the, those types of um, relationships that remind us of who we are, where we've come from. And, you know, when we were kids, it's like literally that childlike joy I love. I love that okay that's too many we feel it okay 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 it's telling me to come back that's what it's telling me because I'm like oh go play um the crone right hopes fears inner guidance that is that crone right there calling us back what are our hopes our fears our inner guidance still too many please okay wow so now we have the king and the we have a oh my god I was reading this wrong because this is the crown of seas. I can't believe I did that. That's the that's the king of cups. Because now the mother of swords is coming out. Our hopes and our fears. Right? The ability to be logical. We don't want to be um we want to be able to look at this logically. Wow. That's what this this crone is telling us. The king of king of hearts, king of uh that makes so much sense. Mm. Interesting. You can see I read these, use these deck, this deck a lot, right? I kind of keep it. Let's say keep it at bay, but keep it safe. <laughs> Mother creativity, and we're talking about our hopes and fears and our inner guidance in the chrome, and mothering our creativity. 
Right. Mm. Being afraid to let that out. No. I'm human. I make mistakes. I see things backwards sometimes, but in these contexts, there's always a reason for that. Like my friend yesterday who almost missed her exit while talking about an, um, something that she should and needs to do. She needs to, and she should do it. And then she almost missed her exit, and it was like, that's the sign. Don't miss your exit. You know, take the opportunity while it's here. Go down that road. Stay the course. Do what, you're, do what your heart had intended you to do. And, um, so when things like that happen, when things like this happen, it makes you step back and really look at it and say, what is this here? You know, being careful who we let in, being empathetic and compassionate to ourself and others, to ourself and others, seeing both sides of the point and actually the head over heart decision. about where to project our creativity and what will bring us joy. And the stranger, the unknown, what the future holds, is the mother of earth. That's the queen of pentacles. That's blessings and harvest and all of your creations manifest and birthed into the real existence. And on the bottom, four of wind, patience, Wow, I feel really like that set me back. Not set me back, it um, gave me pause. Any clarifiers on this? Three of three of C's. Three of C's, you get Princess of Swords, and it says creativity, creative. This feels like if there is a project that you could be starting with your friends, it feels like get to it. Your friends are here to help you. You're going to be receiving messages. You're going to be learning a lot. You're going to be sharing a lot of information. You know, and it's going to, it's interesting too, because it's like these three dragons, where am I at? These three dragons... We're learning this camera, okay, guys? And this page of swords, and it's like right, see that center point? Here. There we go. See the center? That is you. Mm hmm. And again, the Queen of um, Swords and the King of Cups. And there we go with the swords and the cups. Can we get one for the Two of Wind, please? Strong messages today. Strong messages. Balance. Look at that. Look at that. Justice. That's justice. That's two Libra cards. It's the moon in Libra and the sun in Libra. That is complete balance. The full moon that's coming up is in Libra. Right? There's a karmic resettling here. Right? And that's what your work and skills. It will be balanced out. Like, what wasn't seen will come to the light, and um, there will be a weighing, you know, the, a weighing of um, effort, weighing of skill, weighing of intention. Right? Okay, warrior. All right, page of fire. Intuition, the priestess. Wow. You'll know which way to go. And again with that information and what is seen and what is unseen. And notice how um, the child is holding this flame here. And the priestess is releasing it. And it's becoming this like prismatic refraction of energy and light. That is a strength. That is your warrior gift. To be able to take the thing, break it down into parts and show the rainbow of it, to show all of the um, polarities, light, 
shining, all of that, to take the, to take the flame and turn it into a rainbow, that is what you can do, and that is how you fight you fight the fight, right? Fight the good fight. Can we have one for this uh, crone of seas? Interesting. That's um, it's got the Scorpio sign on it. And I was talking about octopi. How did that not occur to me? I'm still feeling weird. intellectual. Princess, Prince of Swords. Now we have the Princess of Swords and the Prince of Swords. Interesting. That's I, how did I how did I read a hearts card like a spade? How did I read a cup like a sword? Well, because I was looking at it intellectually. We have to look at this intellectually, right? This is a, a what our mother, relationships, right? What are the positives? What can we focus on? What can we nurture? Right. The information, the way that um, our relationships enrich us. You know, having those conversations about things that stir our interests, stir our souls, that educate us, that bring us more knowledge and more fulfillment, and those fill our hearts because, the, you know, the more you read, the more, more empathetic you are, the more compassionate because you're getting these other perspectives. You're putting yourself in someone else's shoes and you're living a different experience via them through the words. And um, that is what this, you know, intellectualize your emotional experience, nurture that, and those, uh, those like-minded people who want um, you to share your information with them and who want to share their information with you, you, you will form bonds with, according to the mother position here, right? The bonding. Um, all right, so maiden, the six of cups. Nice, another three of cups, the abundance. Yeah, man, if you're working on something with your friends, it's gonna be celebrated, it's gonna be great, and it's gonna be a good time. Gonna have so much fun. These new people um, are going to stir you, and that's your motivation, right? You wanna form good friends, you wanna have good relationships, you wanna um, spend time with your loved ones, share with your children, and do so joyfully. That is what your value is. That is the virtue to the situation. You know, and that's, um, it isn't all altruistic because it, you want your friends and family to be happy, but you want to be happy. You want to, everyone to share in that joy. That's what that is. You know, so what are your hopes and fears and guidance for this uh, mother creativity, this queen of sorts? We get the seven of discs investment. Um, and your inner guidance is telling you here to be logical again be logical about where you plant your seeds who you plant your seeds with and nurture those seeds and allow them to grow and your hopes and fears might be like is this am I planting in the right field this is this field fertile or barren is this the right time of um, you know here's these stars here Saturn and Taurus it's very earthy. Will this manifest as abundance? Um, that's the fear and the hope that it will, you know? And uh, the mother of um, earth here as the stranger, the unknown, what the future holds is looking pretty good for that. Let's see, oh my gosh, three of wands. This is your purpose. Go towards your purpose. All these threes, all this creative energy uh, we got two pages and a um, and a knight, and then we have two queens and a king. We're leveling up. We're moving forward. We're learning. We're we're so we know how to do this already. And um, this other person doesn't know how to do that thing, and they know how to do something, and we don't know. It's like by our powers combined, the power of three, the power of three. And on the bottom of this deck, we get a. Uh, Evolution, resurrection, Sagittarius, temperance. There's that balance again. Oh my gosh, this is bringing us. Um, this is bringing us into perfect, perfect balance. Do we want a Lenormand for this? Can we just get one? Because I really want to um, not be taking up everyone's whole day. Even though this is very, very exciting. It says, uh, fortune, luck money and love these things will come to those whose homes are blessed from above it looks like this hotel by where i used to live called the broadmoor and the, it was quite blessed there and on the bottom um yeah 
So it's interesting too because we're going to read it as far away since it's on the bottom, right? The cross means suffering man will appear. The closer the cross, the quicker you will see an end to your loss. Mm. So it might have taken a long time for us to come to this and that's why we're feeling this way. Right? That whatever it was that um, previously happened that, you know, we talked about this could have happened a long time ago. Like carrying that cross. Right? And how apropos that um, we're coming up on Easter time. You know, and it might be time to set that down. Cleanse. And resurrect. Mm. This is making me really, really want to cry. We ca All of these things called us, so if you don't mind, I am going to get all of them. I'm going to get the um, animal creature first, and then we'll get the Book of the Five Rings. Cardinal. Aries is Cardinal Fire. Mm-hmm. I love this. Devotion, romance, love. Love is on its way. With its bold red plumage, the cardinal carries messages of romance and encourages you to confidently declare your desires. Let your passions drive you forward under this flurry of infatuation. Cardinals are a sign of loyalty and devotion, mating for life once they've found their partner. When a cardinal crosses your path, be on the lookout for anybody that appears in your life around this time. Along with their partnerships, family is of utmost importance to the cardinal, and they often create close bonds with their young. They plant roots in, the re in their region, providing stability and safety as they raise their next generation. The cardinal could be a sign that you are ready to settle down and start your own family or deepen your relationships with your existing family. Cardinals can also be signs from loved ones who have passed, a sign of assurance that you are being supported from the other side. You are deeply loved. Alright, gazers, the gaze in martial arts. The gaze should range large and wide. The gauge is, gaze is twofold, observing Khan and seeing Ken. The eyes that observe should be stronger, the eyes that see weaker. It is important in martial arts to see the far away closely and the close from far away. To know the opponent's sword and yet not look in it, look at it in the least as crucial in martial arts. This takes practice. The gaze is the same both in large scale and small scale martial arts. It is necessary to see out the corner of both eyes without moving the eyeballs. It is difficult to master right away when one is in a hurry. Remember what is written here. Always be aware of the gaze. Discipline oneself, so whatever happens, the gaze does not change. Stay the course. Follow your, follow your heart. You are loved. Love, love, love. I love you, gazers. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it, and I hope that you'll come back and see me again tomorrow. Oh, and if you want to see the videos every day and you aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit the button, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, guys.